The Destroyer here, and welcome back to Third Age Total War, the Divide and Conquer submod version 0 0.5. This is our Haradrim campaign. This is part 23. So when we left off, we destroyed Dol Amroth. We started moving a Mumakil north. Uh, I think it's right there. Captain Sufian, I believe, is Mumakil. So he's getting close. And we started sieging Minas Tirith. But we are sieging it with Mordor starting the siege. I kind of joined in. And there's Captain General Hannon the Champion. Uh, I think if we do win this battle, because he initiated the battle, he might get to keep the city. So I think I'm going to pull out. I think Gondor can actually defend against this, if I'm honest. It's just a bunch of orcs. Let's, let's see what happens. Let's withdraw from the battle. And maybe Mordor will... Uh... Wait, did they already flee? I think when I withdrew, they fled the Mordor army. So potentially, it might be free up for our taking. That is excellent. Hopefully I'm not mistaken. Because that would be pretty sweet. Then we can get our second army up there, possibly get our Moomoo kill up with our guys, and siege Minas Tirith ourselves and take it. North Athelion attacked. Nothing new there, that's always under attack. Take Edholond. I would like to. And I probably could, actually. I mean, these guys are quite quite tanky. It doesn't show their stats, but I know they're pretty tough. Let's actually put our spy back in there. Ooh, he might die. No, oh, he'd be put to the sword. Alright, well. Or rip. Rip in peace. This army isn't that strong, though. I don't think it's a good idea. We do have some men here, though, we can send. Of course, we were building a reinforcement army to send with them. How may I serve? We march. Joining there we go. The How army's looking better. We rest here until dawn. Okay, what do we need now? This Mordor. army can actually reach Minas Tirith. Nice. Yeah, Mordor has actually fled. Apparently they didn't want to siege with our help. It's kind of curious, because they did start the siege. We could get a siege tower. I think I'm going to go for siege tower, just because, uh... I mean, I should, quite frankly. I'm not gonna see Jet though. I'm gonna try and get the. I'm gonna try desperately to get this move kill up there. It should take what two turns to get up here. Does anyone have room? Oh, I'll make room. <laughs> Don't you worry. If I plan on sieging with this army, I'll move this guy out of the army once he, the move kill gets here. Actually, he's pretty close. I'm gonna move him now. Although I probably should wait just in case they sally out and attack us. That would be a smart thing to do, I guess. So, we pretty much have everything we could ask for over here, which is pretty awesome. Big fleet here, I'm going to hold them there, because I did plan on attacking the Shire. And apparently I cannot deliver this ring to Saruman. I actually asked, I asked uh, people on Total War forums about that, and they said that's not possible, so it's unfortunate. But, uh, oh well. Oops, I just recruited the boat. <laughs> I don't want it. We could get a Lord Stables. Or a army barracks, or we probably need the Temple of Milkor here. I mean, this is full on Dunedain. So we'll get that there. We'll also get eight large stables and eight army barracks. We'll just keep up a ton of stuff here. We'll be good. And we can continue building more men here. Let's look at that. We have a lot of money to blow. I'm pretty sure I didn't need to save for anything, if I'm honest. I'm not positive about that, but hopefully. Southland archers wouldn't hurt, some Southland lancers as well. Maybe a catapult or two two catapults? Yeah, I like that idea. Alright, pillar gear, can we make anything nice? Yeah, Hashari, nice. Dismounted Serpent Guard. We don't have any to recruit, but they are pretty beastly. 23 defense, 11 attack, not bad. It's essentially our cavalry unit, but off of his horse. Get some Southrun Lancers in them and them, I guess. And maybe some Southrun Archers. We're gonna have a lot of armies. But that's a good thing, I guess. Can we get another Muma kill, I wonder? Uh, recruitment. 
Time, turn until recruitment 26. Now it's going to be a while before we can get one more kill from there at least. What's this? How may I serve? A couple Southern War vans. Oh wait, there's a Muma kill in this freaking town. Orders. Oh my goodness. All right, well this army is going armies. to move north as well. We march. Okay, excellent. We, we have two things in Muma kill. That would be so destructive. All right, let's uh, where's your diplomat? What is he doing? I haven't looked into the dip diplomat in a while. How do I even get to that screen? I wonder. I always forget agents. Diplomats? We have two diplomats, actually. There he is. He was heading towards Rune. Did we already talk to Rune? Uh, maybe? Yes, we did. I think he's on his way somewhere, so we'll just leave him alone. Yes, my master. And we have a diplomat in Pelar gear. Let's actually send our diplomat over here. That way, just in case we need to do some dealings with Mordor at some point, we can do that. We actually can't break an alliance without a diplomat. So that's something to keep in mind. Just in case I wanted to break my alliance. The only problem with that is, all the evil factions will start to hate me. And we'll probably be attacked by Umbar and by Khand, which would be bad because we have no defense near Khand or Umbar, quite frankly. So that's not really an option for me. But if I was to build one, then maybe I could. I have al I've already thought about taking Umbar. That is a possibility I've considered, and I think I might. But I'm more concerned about the Shire. I want to burn down some hobbit holes. I think that would be cool. I doubt you'd see much uh, Haradrim up in the north. So, I think it'd be interesting to take the Haradrim to the north. You will damage up there. Been sieged, okay. Orders. As usual. Set. Anything in this area? Cannot plot that course. Ah, we Our found it. Enidwaith town. We could attack the clans of Enidwaith. Or Enidwaith, I don't know how you say it. I am a warrior, not a diplomat. Moot wardens. I think that's actually best unit. Maybe not, but their their best units are pretty trash in comparison to a lot of teams. They're just uh I forgot about Ace and the Kind. He doesn't seem to be moving though, so. I really do like the portrait for uh, this unit right here. Tier Aya Wardens. Their helmets look so cool. It's almost like a Gondor Tower Guard helmet. Looks super badass. Alright, uh, Moonkill, how close are you? How may I serve? Oh, well, he's close enough to join the battle. Orders, I'm honored to serve. I think we're gonna get to Siege Minus Theorist this time. Neat. Alright, let's get some of these pikemen out of here. Do we want to use this army or this army? This one is pretty crappy, if I'm perfectly honest. So maybe we'll take a... Uh, we'll take some archers out of this one. These archers are crap. Let's just, uh, we'll send them to Kara Karasast. Oh shit, there's an army there too. Okay, well maybe we can bring them out as well. Would they be able to join us somehow? I'm not sure. We close for battle. Nah, they'd have to go miles away. Tomorrow's journey We'd awaits. have to get a boat over here and Noble join one. them up that way. That's not gonna happen. We move at first light. So we'll do that. Uh, I'm yeah, let's let's just do with our original idea. Let's take those archers here. Orders. We sent them out. Let's take a pikeman from this Noble battalion. One. Send them How into their army. And now. This guy can join my force. How may I yeah. We march. Merging our army. And we can siege if we want. Or we can wait. Oh wait, I think I can actually move this army. To attack from this yes. side. Yes. Right? Yes. So we'll lift the siege real quick. We will re -siege. Let's get one of these and one of these. Shall outside their walls. Now I think Base this army can orders. actually join us. I'm honored to serve. Right? Tomorrow's journey yeah. away. Okay, well, I kind of screwed up that this one. Will be an honor. We'll have to wait another turn for that to fix. Oh well. I don't know how long a siege on Minas Tirith is going to take, so this video might be long. If it takes a long time. Joining so I'm just putting that out there now. It might take like 30 minutes just to siege the city, so who knows? We'll find out. I'm up for whatever, though. 
it takes me a damn hour to beat the city to the to the ground, then I will do so. But I'm hoping that's not the case. But I'm just happy I actually get the chance to take the city. If I take the city, it's mine. Maybe I'll move my capital up there. I think it'd be cool. Did I move my capital at some point? Or was I, like, not ready to do that? I don't remember. It's probably not best to move my capital to a place where I can't get high enough uh, amount of Haradrim culture, though. I mean, how does that work, exactly? Oh, yeah. I forgot about those. The old Dol Amroth Navy turned rebel. We cause rioting and grass. Curse ass. Some archers in there. It didn't quite help. Okay. Uh, can we get anyone from here then? Actually, yes, we can get some riders. We should be able to get into curse ass easily enough. There we go. We might as well take them all. Oops. I almost took the other ones there. Not quite what I was going for. Camel archers. I mean, they got free upkeep. I'll just take these guys. Put them up there. Alright, hurry up and get up here. I would like to have all my armies over here converging on uh, this town. That'd be super cool. Let's just in turn. I'm not going until that army gets there. And then when they do, I will go. I could wait for that second Muma kill, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I think that's a bit too long. I want to get into the action, get into the fray. Kick some ass, take some names. I think it'd be cool. Minus Morgul looks cool. I've always thought that was one of the cooler looking uh, places. The Hill of Sorcery, of course, as I've heard it's been called. Alright. Gondor going through their turn here. Uh oh. We can't withdraw. I got sunk. Ah. Remember bringing out their superior navy, which is unfortunate. They are going to blockade my port as well, which I'm not a fan of. We do make a lot of money off of our ports and our trade from sea. We have to deal with that. They're actually sinking our, our Corsair ships. Edoras has been sieged. Oh, that's not good. Mission failed. Target Edoras. Oh yeah, the invasion. I have no interest in this invasion. Where is my big fleet? Oh, they're by Dol Amroth, aren't they? I guess we can send them up this way. Umbar docks? No, we're not looking to blockade Umbar docks. Oh boy. They don't sink us. <laughs> that would suck. We're making a negative income. Oh dear. That got really bad really fast. Um, 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 um. How do we fix this here? Take a dull armor to cancel all these buildings. And that doesn't really help anything, okay. Fair enough. Normal tax rates, high tax rates. I could do high tax right here. That helps a little bit. Uh, our capital probably makes us a, a bit of a mint if we go high. I just don't want to go too much in the hole there. Although we might not, depending on if we can, can get our fleet down there. Foe? If we can, we'll be fine. If we can take Minas Tirith as well, we'll be fine. Our army upkeep is huge I because serve. of our, uh, our movement kills and such. Go Two movement kills is no th nothing to scoff at, this of course. Be an I, yeah, there's no I reason to do to that. Alright. That's a pretty nice army too, but we'll use the one with the movement kill, of course. Where is it? It's this awkwardly yes, placed one behind there. Master. There we go. All right, let's save the game. Uh, battle. Okay, and let's do it. We will we have a battle tower, siege tower. Bounce power is huge. We have an army of 1,048 men and 93, and we have 1,033 there. They have 639. They don't have the biggest force. We shall all find the right, way to an awesome. honorable victory. I don't know if you can actually get a movement kill into Minas Tirith. It doesn't seem reasonably uh, <laughs> feasible, but we'll see. 
Well, at least get to see it on the campaign map, which is cool. Yeah, that seems like reasonable. Alright. Let's actually bring up all these uh, things here. Tell them to go in. I guess they'll do that afterward. Let's take a look at our Moomoo kill. Oh. Super cool. Giant war painted elephants with tons of tusks. That's what I'm talking about. And we got a siege tower as well. And there is Ms. Tears in the background. Let's uh Yeah. That's pretty sweet. Alright, uh we'll have to set up our troops, of course. So let's do that quickly. Uh we'll get the pikes. Anyone who's melee, I guess. These guys have that. It's fine. Alright, you guys will all be group one. So let's put them forward. I like to start as close to the target as possible. I see no reason to go around the bush. That's fine when we're not going to get too picky about things here. Let's do this for these guys. Maybe a little bit. There we go. Spread them out a bit. They can actually use pikes as well. Sharpened stakes, rather. Which is cool. Move kill, do char trample your own guys. So you don't want to really put them near your troops there. Can you actually like, form them up? Not really, no. Alright, fair enough. We got these guys. All the cavalry we have. We'll go group two. I'm not counting uh, the move kill as cavalry. No, it technically I think it is. Because it's easier for me to uh, not run around as a... Ah, oh, this guy was supposed to be in this group too. Two, there we go. Where's he at? That's fine. All the archers will be group three. So I can just control them and troll them in They can be part of group one. Let's set the thing here. So this up here and start the battle. So we'll go to the wall. There we go. We'll march forward with everybody we get. Like I said I'm not sure the move kill can actually get through, but we'll try. Oh, this is cool. And of course, let's put them all in aggressive. He was running for a minute, and now he's not. <laughs> run! I ah, can't tell him to run. Whatever. It's fine. Ah! It's not what I want. Let's go back to my... I don't know my people. Oh yeah, there's archers on top of the moon kill. Which is pretty sweet. Oh, they moved quicker than I thought they did. Well. sit here and watch them fire them. Actually, since the unit cards are uh, only necessary at the moment, let's hide there. Here we go. Very cool. You can hear the elephant sounds. Pretty neat. Let's take group three, start shooting some guys here. Uh, let's bring up this one. I'll have two shoot this one, two shoot that one. Alright, excellent. The tower is almost in place. We'll start sending our trollmen through as soon as they can. Okay, it's taking a bit of damage. Our siege towers have reached the walls. Yeah, we're pretty big. Our foes try and stand in the way of our might. You guys up here. Alright, Siege Tower's in place. Who's on the walls here? Gunner Spearman. Alright, fair enough. Let's send some guys up the wall to help. Oh, it seems the gate has actually been, uh... Forsaken. <laughs> so they've opened the gate to stop our battering room. Well, let's get that actually hold in the battering room right now. 
I wonder if I can just run my move kill through this army of guys. You know what? Let's do this. Let's try it. I'm tempted to, to use this beast. They'll probably follow me out. Group three should probably all start shooting these guys. Let's bring up all our unit cards here and everything. Here we go. We don't want fire arrows on. Hopefully they're not. Alright, let's go. Melee attack. Here he goes. Oh yeah, cool. Damn, they're strong. Victory is well within our grasp. Look at this, just I'm wreck these guys. See this and lose heart. You do not want to be one of these guys. General's bodyguard in this. Getting absolutely butchered. These are worth every penny. Alright, you fools. And these guys, I'll just all run through. Well, the movement kill takes the brunt of the damage here. As long as they survive, should, everything should be fine. Okay. We're not losing movement kill. If we lose movement kill, we'll pull out. Is that would be bad. Uh, I hope our own guys aren't dying here. They shouldn't be. <laughs> Very awkward with the gate there. Just let that thing wail away. We'll start running a cavalry army through here as well. It's gonna be hard for our troops to get through because of these guys, but uh, let's get our movement kill out of here. We have taken the walls. It is time we captured this place. So let's take movement kill. Move that way. How are we doing up here? Lots of trollmen and Harad still alive. Pikes. The under spearmen will hold for a while. Maybe all our archers can actually help bring them down a bit. Or we should just keep shooting these because there's a lot. We could also send some guys up the tower to attack them. I'll do that as well. Our movement kill is not leaving the battle. It's not entirely. There we go. We'll bring him back if we need him later. For now, we're getting our guys in. This is very cool, though. I think there's multiple tiers of uh, in these tiers as well. So we gotta go up, up, up and away. Let's actually go up here. Yeah, you gotta go up through these crazy like roads up here, lead all the way up to the top. And this is actually where you have to capture. So it's pretty far up there. I think you need battery ramps to get through these uh, gateways, I think. Possibly. Send these guys up here. Should be able to get in there and get up there. Uh, we did send some of these guys who shouldn't. Shouldn't be moving. Are we attacking anything here? Or are we just like bottlenecked? Just like the bottleneck. I do like the little spikes on the pulpings of the. Uh, cool. Roger, are definitely one of my favorite teams, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> I think they're super cool. Alright. We'll take whatever else is here. Spears. Send them that way. They're just farmhand archers, too. Anything special. Line up our archers a bit closer, I think. Our movement kill should be fine. Just leave them there. Are these guys able to get up here? Well, these aren't even ours. Our teammates actually made it in. I forgot about them. So yeah, we're going to have a lot of men in here. And this tier will be ours, undoubtedly. Nope. Nope. We don't want to do that. I forgot we were actually attacking up there. Let's continue to do so. The archers, uh... Maybe we'll just bring all the archers inside. Sounds reasonable enough. 
Alright, let's get out of the archer fire range. Watch me move kill to take a little bit of damage. Right, there's a way to actually see which guys are yours, I believe. How do you do that again? Uh, in, the, in the other UI, there's a button that you can press. I forget what it is. Oh, well. <laughs> ah, there was a general out there. Well, freaking no wonder. That's why everyone is stuck. Captain General Hannon, the champion, has fallen. And their leader has fallen. Minas Tirith will soon be ours. Looks like we got some skirmishing to do here. Send all of our cavalry over here. Let's run these ones away. He hopes he can't get a charge bonus in the town, I don't think, but uh, Oh well. I'm gonna try and walk the Mumakil in. If I can, awesome. But I, <laughs> I don't think the Mumakil can fit through this gate. By God, does that look cool or what? Alright, let's stop running though. Maybe we'll actually kill some of our own guys if we do that. Might not be a good idea. Uh, these guys, send those archers. Are there any spearmen I can send up there? Anyone who's not engaged? Really? <laughs> the enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Yeah, let's turn off skirmish mode for our archers. No reason, really. Axe and these guys after them. They don't look like they're doing much. Looks like we've taken the wall here. So let's get back down. Whoa, the movement kill can actually come in. I'm pretty sure they don't kill your own men. I could be wrong. <laughs> I think I might be wrong on that one. Alright, let's send the move kill forward. Let's get these guys out of the way. If at all possible, please move. These are our generals. Probably don't want to die. Is it possible to get over here? Please, someone move. There he goes. We kill power. Gondor soldiers gonna have to deal with those. Move everyone back. Just move the entire group two back here. They're getting a little bit low on troops. Some of the move kill are trying to get forward. They're getting there. Okay, where is the next place we have to take? Also, I think we need to get it to grab our battering ram. Uh, this guy try and grab the battering ram again? Or did they oh the AI took it. They took up our battering ram, okay. Fair enough. Let's bring in the UI cards again. Just make things easier. This guy isn't moving. Okay, it seems now he's moving a little bit. Cool. Some reason the move kill came back. It's fine. Chase down these routing guys. Where do we need to go next? Let's follow the mountain side path here. It's well within our grasp. It's a bit awkward because the camera angles this shift. And lose heart. Uh, is this right? This might be the wrong way. Uh, I think about it. There's a nice view of the wall. Maybe we gotta go this way. Um, no, that's not true. <laughs> okay, we'll find the way up. It's definitely this hill. All right, let's take everybody and just march our way up. Joe can like, change the angle so it doesn't like freak out. There we go. It's definitely up here. These guys need to finish off these routing guys, of course. Be nice. They don't seem to want to. So, what does Gondor actually have left? Probably not a whole lot. Some cavalry militia. And the guys that are routing, I think, and that's it. Alright, well, fair enough. They couldn't have too much, as you might imagine. Chase them down. Just kill them.
All right. I got men absolutely streaming in here. I think because they took our battering ram, we may not be able to get through though, which is kind of annoying. How do we? Oh, the battering ram is gone. We must be bringing it up. I sure certainly hope so. But where? Where oh where? Let's speed this up. I'll go six times. I should get, uh, okay, let's not go six times. My frame rate goes to hell in a handbasket. Not ideal. Big maps like this, six times speed is probably not the best idea. I'm assuming the battering ram is somewhere in this mess of guys, no? Maybe not. Since there's still some fighting here somewhere. Maybe not. Right, let's go through here. More guys. Let's just continue onward. Maybe we can't take that. Hmm. It's not letting me through? Oh, huh, there we go. We'll just leave the movement kill down there. Seems reasonable enough. The AI's figured it out at least. So at the very least, the AI will figure out where to go. It's a very cool settlement, but it's definitely a little strange to siege because of the elevation differences and such. Alright, there's a spot we can click. Let's keep going. Come on, men. You can do it. I believe. I'm hoping they find their way up. Depending on AI pathfinding isn't always the best thing to do. Sometimes you just gotta do it. Doesn't seem like any of these gates are closed. So I guess that's good. Maybe we can actually just melee attack these guys. Alright, maybe our army will run in now. And this should be close to the top, I think. I say that, but it's actually not. Ridiculous. Alright, how we doing? Getting there? Let's push it six times speed as far as we can. Ah, it just seems really, really choppy. Probably not a good idea. Not only is that bad for viewing, but that's bad for me. <laughs> That's good for recording. You can at least go two times. Doesn't seem to affect much. It does uh, go back to one times when you move. If you want to wear that, every time we move the camera, it does is well a within bit. our grasp. I, my foe, will surely see this. Into AI is up here. Are these ours? They are ours. This guy's very bold. But he's not the actual general. Actually, no, actually, it does look like it. might be. I think some reinforcements have arrived. Maybe I can kill these guys. They run like children. Yeah, there you go. Them from the field. There's no reason to victory do anything else. Is ours. A victory both really righteous lost? and well deserved. About 200 men. Otherwise. Which really, when you brought that number, isn't too bad. And we've taken the crown jewel of Gondor, which actually is Dol Amroth, if you think about it, but. <laughs> Technically. But their other crown jewel, of course, Minas Tirith. And this will be our seat of power from now on, I think. In our conquest we up north. Prevailed. Hopefully that gets our economy a little bit more Victory. positive as well. I think it's best to just occupy it, right? Is it good to... No. I don't know the difference between sack and exterminate. Exterminate obviously kills the people. Does that lower the culture, though? It's probably just best to occupy. Let's just do that for now. So now we have Minas Tirith. Oh. Cool. It's an awkward town to actually select. No, that ain't it. There it is. Rajam, huge city. Let's tax these peasants. We need some money. Oh, yeah. Protected profits easily up there. All right, good. So we'll tax them for now. We'll rebuild. 
It can actually be upgraded. Or is that... I, that's repairing. Okay, never mind. Never mind. New Norian armor. Let's repair everything we can when we can. And then we'll start uh, getting some buildings here. Of course, it's going to be very heavily Dunedain. As you might imagine. Alright, so I've gone about four minutes over my time goal. But that's fine. Sekolo Horror has expanded to Dreadmew. Cool. Army routes, recruitment reports. Ah, the Hashari are finished. Let's actually take them out of here. There they are. Very cool. Let's take them with the South Rome Warbands. Send them to Karasas. I'll make use of these guys in their 15 attack. <laughs> so beastly. They're definitely meant to be like flanking guys. That's what you're supposed to use them for. Flank the enemy, do a lot of damage. Okay. Construction report, trades increase. Hanagad, lo logistician. Logistician. <laughs> it's hard for me to say. Logistic. See in. Whatever. 20% movement points through troop morale. Very cool. Q stalled. Yeah, it happens. Alright, that seems like a great place to stop. Let's uh check and see how far our other moon kill has gone. Real quick. Where did I actually send it? Uh uh <laughs> It did send it up from the capital. So its route would have been through here. And then somewhere over here. Maybe he's over here already, I don't know. We'll find out later, won't we? He'll show up. Yes, my master. Alright, so that has been part 23 of the Harad campaign. We've taken Minas Tirith from Gondor and from Mordor, basically. They've been fighting so hard for it, but it's ours now. Which is awesome. And I think we will actually move our capital over here. Eventually. So yeah, join me again next time, and we'll continue on for our domination of Middle-earth. See you next time.